I am Dr. Grafuda Sante. I am an assistant professor of communication, difference, and disparities at San Diego State University. Um, social media has not has helped us uh, connect with friends and family, right? Um, it has helped us connect um, uh, with longtime friends. Uh, maybe we studied abroad in Spain and we are back, um, and we want to connect, keep in touch with friends from Spain, for instance. Yeah. Um, but also on some on other fronts, social media has um, sort of placed us in, uh, uh, I would say, some kind of a enclosed spaces, right? Because once you like a particular video, then the algorithm assumes that that's the kind of videos you want, and then it just starts <laughs> feeding you very similar videos. The social media algorithm is able to put you in clicks, and so you're not able to sort of seek other kind of viewpoints. Social media places you in particular sort of groups, um, and so it's very difficult to uh, even imagine that there is another viewpoint out there until you actively uh, go about seeking them. Beyond the sort of lack of access uh, to particular news sources, uh, people in rural areas or economically disadvantaged areas also uh, have very limited access to particular even digital sources. Um, and so <clears throat> this is where I would sort of rely on community input in some way. And so uh, reach out to your family members, uh, try to um, reach out to your friends who perhaps are familiar uh, with this. And also, I always mention this, go to your local library, because <laughs> I think um, it is a very crucial place to look for information, verify information. They have tons of newspapers from different places that, that you can just go there and read. Um, some of the libraries also have computers you can browse, um, or even some of the libraries or schools also have uh, computers you can just go and browse uh, there as well. But I would say go to your local library, talk to the librarian, uh, how, let, let them help you verify information and, and, and stuff like that. to evaluate the information. Who sent this to you? Um, who is funding this particular news source? Um, who, um, how are they framing the, the narrative? Who, who is missing in terms of, for instance, maybe interviews or somebody who has been interviewed in a news source? Is it only coming from one perspective? Um, those are very basic media literacy tools and in Importantly, we should really learn to verify information. I think um, a culture, uh, uh, one of the effects that I think social media has had on us is the lack of verification of information. And again, where you can do that, the library, um, if you don't really have uh, access to that. But you can do that by looking at multiple sources of places as well to verify your information.